Previously, we talked about how use, the use statement, includes uh, calling the import method of the module, meaning importing the functions that are specified in the list of importing. But how does uh, the module author actually arrange for that? Because it won't, we won't need to include import all the functions that uh, the module has. So let's see if there is a script like this here, and we use say a calc. This is the name of the module. Here, we, this mo calc module exported the add function. So when you used the use statement. We didn't have to specify any list of functions, it, we automatically got this add function. How did the author manage to do that? So he had to implement the import function of his module, but because that's uh, such a common thing to do, Perl comes with a module called exporter that already has this import function. So most people, what do we do? They use by themselves the exporter module, say use exporter, and import the import function. So now the acalc, ACALC method, uh, package, the module, has the import function. The way that import function behaves is that it looks at an array called at export that should list a number of functions, and by default it exports those functions. So when you say, when a user says use acalc, name of the module, that's it, then automatically these functions will be important, the add and the multiply function. Now as you can see, this module has also the validate parameters function that we already had earlier, but this is not listed in the export array. Just also people please note that this is an R, is defined with R because the import function needs to see that variable. So that's it. That's the way you can, as a module author, define what modules, what functions are being exported and what are imported by default when the user of your module doesn't specify which functions you need. Later we'll see how the user can restrict the specific functions.